<laughs> All right. Um, so I used to think that my testimony was boring. I've, I've, I hear that phrase when you first are sharing your testimony. Some people have these crazy stories where they were really into drugs or they were doing all these things that even just normal society says aren't good. Where I, where I went to church back in my home, you don't hear a lot of talk about testimony that much. For, for whatever reason, just people don't talk about it like they do down here in the Bible Belt. And so I hadn't really thought about what my testimony was that much, but I do have one. And, and so it's all of that. But then also I remember there's a moment I was, we were driving in the car and I was looking out the window and I was probably seven, I want to say I was probably seven or eight years old. And I was just looking out the window and I was thinking, and I, I was on the way back from church actually, and I had thought about it quite a bit. And I, I remember my mom was driving and I just said to my mom, hey mom, I think, I think I'm ready to ask Jesus into my life for real. And that's what I did and, that, and that's the moment. And so to go back to what I was talking about is, I would say, I used to always say I have a boring testimony. But I think one thing I've learned over time is that type of testimony there's nothing really that boring about it at all because what that means really is that we have a God who can be, who is so magnificent, so overwhelming, so ununderstandable and indescribable, but at the same time, a seven-year-old can understand that that God loved him enough to send his son to die on the cross. And I think that's pretty amazing. I think that no matter where you come from or who you are, what your testimony is, I think that there's no such thing as a boring testimony. And so that's become part of my testimony too, is that it's really just, it's amazing that type of love that can be understood no matter if you're just a, a child or if you're a hundred years old on your deathbed. I mean, you, you, you can understand God's love, even if you don't fully understand who he is. And there's and there's a lot of times where I faded and out of that, I kind of walk away. I've never fully walked away from my faith, but there's been certain incidents in my life where there's, I've really kind of wanted to, or I, I've thought about it, but I can't stop believing that there's a God. I, and, and Jesus' love feels too real to me. So even when I'm questioning, I think that I have this continuing testimony where I'll sort of walk away and, I come back and then I like who I am the best when I'm when I'm in a great relationship with him and when I'm working at it every day.